Hey guys, what's up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster, and I have a tutorial for you on how to prevent offline media in Avid Media Composer. And this tutorial is not about how to fix offline media, uh, but rather how to stop it from happening in the first place. Uh, fixing offline media, that's something for a completely different video. To prevent offline media, basically, we want to focus on the media creation settings inside of Media Composer. To get to the media creation settings, we can go up to Tools, and select media creation, or I like to use the shortcut command five if I'm on a Mac, or control five if I'm on a PC. There we go. All right, and basically there's two main things to focus on, uh, the drive and the resolution. Um, just take a quick tour, there's a couple different um, uh, tabs which I'm not gonna particularly focus on right now, and that's the drive filtering and indexing and the media type. But uh, basically inside of capture, titles, import, mix down and transcode, uh, motion effects, and render, they all pretty much have the same settings, a couple of differences, but the main focus uh, is going to be this drive and the video resolution. For me, when I edit, I typically have um, one project per one uh, workspace or one hard drive. Um, I mean, I, I do it a little differently on some of my freelance stuff. Um, actually, for this example, I'm going to be going to be using one of my freelance hard drives, where I have a number of different um, workspaces on here, all kind of segregated out into their different Avid Media Files folders. Um, this kind of workflow is a little confusing for the beginner editor if they don't typically understand how Avid Media Files work. Um, so if you're just starting out. Uh, good rule of thumb and a good rule of thumb, you know, in general, even if you're not just starting out, is one project per one um, hard drive. Um, and a hard drive or media workspace if you're working on like an Avid Nexus or something like that. All right, so when we're here in our media creation uh, settings, uh, we can see this drive this drive drop down. When we select it, there could be a number of options. And again, if you're working on an Avid uh, Nexus or another different media server like a Facilis TerraBlock, um, you might have a bunch of different things mounted. And you want to make sure that when you create media, it's going to the right drive. And we do this here in the media creation um, settings. So we can also do it, you know, when we import or when we render, we can select that each time where it goes but sometimes we get sloppy, sometimes we don't pay attention, sometimes this just changes on us for whatever reason, or another editor was in here and they changed it. Um, so it's really good to go into the media creation settings and set that hard drive that you want all the media to be created to. And uh, once you do that, go ahead, and uh, I like to hit this apply to all, and that'll change it for all the different tabs in here uh, when you import stuff, when you make titles, um, that changes that hard drive for all those as well. The other thing to pay attention to in the media creation settings uh, is the video resolution. And this doesn't necessarily have to do with offline media, but more just media good management practices in general is what video resolution. Uh, if you're working in HD, just standard regular uh, 1920 by 1080 HD, um, I tend to stick to this uh, DNX HD 145 or the DNX HD 220. I generally have pretty good results. Basically, long story short, um, the lower you are here, um, the lower quality, but the smaller smaller file size. And as you go up, um, this is more of a rule of thumb, um, the, the larger the file size gets, but the nicer quality you get. But uh, if you're working in Apple ProRes, you probably want to work in you know one of these codecs down here. But uh, for me, 99 times out of 100, I'm working in DNX HD 145 or 220. When should you open up the media creation settings? For me, uh, it's a bit of an overkill, but basically anytime I open up Media Composer, I'm going to pop open these settings. It's literally the first thing I do when I open up a project. I will hit Command or Control 5, uh, open up this, uh, open up the settings, and go through and make sure that the drive is set to the right resolution. Again, that's a little overkill, um, but anytime you open a project for the first time or anytime it's been more than like a week since you touched it or another editor has touched it, I highly, highly recommend jumping in here and making sure you're making the media to the right drive. It's going to save you time and headache in the long run, I promise you. I mean, this takes like less than 10 seconds to do after you do it a couple times, um, and it's well worth the time spent. 
So that's it guys, that's it for this quick lesson on how to prevent offline media using Avid Media Composer's media creation settings. A lot of medias in there. Um, if you have any thoughts or questions or helpful tips, I would love it if you could leave a comment below. Uh, and please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up uh, if it helped you. And please subscribe to this channel because uh, I'm in the groove coming out with a new video each and every week about how to edit video faster. Thanks guys and I will see you next time.